Hi, I'm Random Trashy, welcome to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be giving you an overview of the Seek Thermal Reveal XR. This is the camo edition. It's a thermal handheld device. Essentially it's got a screen on the front of it, you use it a little bit like a torch, you point it out into the distance and on the screen, on the front of the device is a thermal sign of display of what's going on. Now this is almost real time. There is a very, very slight delay. If you were to move it really quickly, it would take a little bit of time to pan over to where it is. But if you're holding it still and looking at it at the distance, you can see someone quite clearly walking. There was no kind of frame step or anything like that. So it was a very slight delay, but minimal. Um, I learned very early on playing Airsoft and Milsim that there is a possibility to buy yourself an upper hand. Almost an unfair advantage that some would say, for example, I remember going to an event, I had very early gen night vision better than no night vision at all, but there were some guys there with some very, very high-end night vision. They were able to see things that I had no way of seeing at all. Um, they were able to manoeuvre and move much quicker than I was. They were able to see much further into the distance and that sort of thing. Um, I learned then that there is, you know, tools, gadgets, utilities out there that are going to help. Some of them are quite cheap. You know, GPS units, stuff like that, can help you nav, can help you communicate, uh, and comms in locations, that sort of thing. And then there's very expensive stuff. And this really, for me, sits towards one of the cheaper devices that really does give you a beneficial upper hand. This retails about £400. Compared to a lot of other thermal devices, I had a thermal rifle scope on the channel a few weeks ago. If you are interested in that, there is a little white eye up in the top right-hand corner of the video, and you can check it out in that link up there. Um, for the £400, I thought this was absolutely awesome. It actually helped us locate some targets that with all of our night vision combined, we couldn't actually see. Um, we were in some very dense woodland. It was like 5% moon, so it was a very thin sliver of moonlight. There was a lot of cloud cover. It was very, very difficult to see, even with some really high-end night vision. I'm just gonna unbox this. Um, it really does come wrapped up like a phone. We've got a nice case, got a nice big chunky box that goes around it. And in the base of the box here, I'm not gonna um, open it all up but you've just got a cable for charging it and it's a micro USB uh, cable and yet allows you to plug it into your computer um, and take the photos off this but I'll get into that in a second. Here you can see the device quite a small little unit probably a little bit larger than um, you know than a, than a mobile phone it's probably it's about the same size as an iPhone 5 that sort of thing nice and slim got a powerful torch on the front of here and then next to it on the left hand side you've got your thermal sensor got sort of a two and a half inch screen across the front of here and I'm just going to turn it on. Got a nice rubberized grip all the way around the outside and a rubberized cover on the base of this. Got the capability of turning the torch on and off, that's just with the button on the right hand side. What I'm going to show you here is hopefully we might be able to get my face sort of on screen in thermal. Oh there you go, you can see me sort of talking. Um, and that's the sort of picture you get. Looking out to the distance, you get a, a you know a clearer picture. But as you can see in real time, there is a very very slight delay. I'm just going to jump on here. You can take photos as well, like thermal pictures, which is awesome um, and really cool. So what I did is I went to a Milsim uh, a few weeks ago. I've had this for quite a while now, and um, we were out in the woodland. We heard some noise. In the woods, we'd taken our comms off, we were really trying to listen hard, we definitely thought we could hear something, but none of us could actually identify it. Um, and I'm just going to bring up the photo now. I'll also bring put the photos that I'm flicking through um, up here on the left-hand side. There's a nice little cursor in the middle that actually tells you what the temperature is of that uh, person or where the white spot is. You know, people tend to come up at about 30 odd degrees. Um, and as you can see here, we've got the surrounding woodland around the outside. That's the kind of purple, bluey sort of colour. And obviously you can see the image on the left there. Uh, and then you can see that person just there, nice and white. A very, very clear silhouette of a person. We can actually see his arms and legs moving. And as you can see from that picture there, he is like this against a tree. So he was trying to head past our location in front of us, probably from left to right, and he had stopped behind a tree like this, and yet we could see him clear as anything on the thermal, put our lasers in that direction. We were, you know, I was registering kind of the tree marks from where my IR laser was, so that means all the rest of the guys with night vision could see him, put a couple of slots out, heard hit, and then we saw a guy walk out into the path. Um, he was actually with a team of guys out in front trying to clear the way and be a signal for, um, you know, if we, they'd come across any kind of forces. The rest of the team then backed off because obviously he had been taken out. Now, that for some people would be called an unfair advantage. 
For me, I just think it is the way it is. There is uh, devices out there like this. £400, absolutely awesome. You might not use it every weekend, um, but if you are out there on the ground, it starts getting dark, you don't have night vision, um, and you want to be able to detect people, what an awesome tool. Um, I had it on all weekend as well and barely dented the battery. At one point, we had taken over a building in the middle of a kind of open ground area. There was a path off to the left-hand side that kind of led down to a regen area, and we knew that people would rather sort of run down that path than go off at the last minute um, rather than trying to fight their way through the woodland especially with how dark it was I had this actually rested like so facing out towards that path every now we were doing a little roving patrol everyone was keeping their eyes on it just to see anything and we did see some movement in the very very distance now the detection range on this it says on the box about 900 feet um, I tested this out to about 100 meters and could again very very clearly see a silhouette of person if there's multiple people there they kind of especially if they're close together they kind of appear as a bit of a blob um, you know you can't see a deaf definitive kind of outline. As soon as they move away from one another, you really can see a very clear silhouette of a person as you can see there. You can see his hands and um, you know his head, his feet and all that sort of thing, you know, giving off a nice, very clear signature. So a very, very handy tool, um, well priced. I think you know for the technology that you're getting to be able to just have that in your pocket in those pitch black scenarios, quickly turn it on. You can take photos with it as well. So if you do kind of see someone out there and you kind of want to show the other guys, you can quickly snap a photo, show it to them and then get back to the thermal straight away. Another nice thing about this device as well, and I'm just going to flick it on and hopefully in reverse show you some of the different filters that are available on here. So. Here you can see my face in kind of orange and white. Then inverted, we've got red, kind of the, the, the hot area is, is kind of a, a bluey green color. Flick through again, we've got another um, filter on there. And these filters really do help distinguish in different types of locations. We've got black and white, white and black. Um, yeah, and a, a ton of different filters that are available on here. You know, you can flick through them very, very quickly and some will show more definition and, you know, some will be different in different landscapes and that sort of thing. But again, very, very handy uh, and a very, very cool little gadget to have. If you do want to check out some more information on this, you can uh, check it out over on Thomas Jacks. I'll put a link in the description below. For me, this is a really well-priced, very handy little gadget that could potentially give you an upper edge, especially if you do a lot of rural kind of woodland games where there's a lot of night cover. That is going to be a very handy little tool. Um, yeah, any questions about this, any comments, I'm really happy with it. I really kind of want to hang on to it, to be completely honest, um, rather than send it back. Uh, any comments, questions, feedback, anything like that, make sure you stick it in the comment box below. A like, subscribe to the channel always really means a lot to me. I'm really trying to grow the channel as much as possible. So, you know, if you want to subscribe, little subscribe down in the right hand corner of the video. If you want to check out some of the other stuff from Thomas Jacks, top right hand of the video. Um, and then make sure that all the links and everything are in there. If you want to check out some of the photos today, you can hit me up over on Facebook, forward, uh, forward slash random trashy is all the photos and thermal stuff will be up on there so thank you very much for watching i appreciate all of the audience and everyone staying tuned for these videos there's going to be a lot of them going through over the next couple of weeks thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all soon